Hello everybody out there in RC YouTube loving land. This is another modification video on the Voventex RC P47 Thunderbolt. I've got another video in my line of videos regarding taking this bit of foam out right here where my finger's at in order to make space for me to close up with my battery. And as I said before, if you're new to the hobby, you have to make little modifications as you go along. With any level airplane, if it's $100,000, $20,000, 500 dollars or in this case, this is under $100, which is a very great deal right now, as of uh, July 2023. So basically... What you do is you get your foam cleaned out, you get your little wires pushed out of the way in there, your battery pretty much will fit down in the provided slot. I'm going to set it down and plug it in, get my transmitter cut on. Now the way you boot this up initially and every time is that you take the switch, as you can see right here, you have expert, mid-range, and beginner. And I don't know how well that's focusing. Yeah, that's pretty good. You want to push this lever all the way forward away from you, and that puts it in beginner mode. Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> I digress. All the way away from you is expert mode. That means there's no stabilization, so you can plug it in upside down. So, basically... Cut your transmitter on. You'll see that flash for a moment that it goes solid. You come over here and plug your battery in. Upside down is what I do on the foam box it comes with. I take this to the field with me. Uh, it lives in this box. This is its home, its hanger. You basically get your battery plugged in. You'll see these move a little bit normally. Then they'll straighten up. When you're in expert mode, there's no stabilization, so the plane doesn't try to stabilize itself upside down to upside right. It's very important that you be in expert mode. See them move? And sometimes you have to unplug it, plug it back in, and they just leveled out. If it doesn't do it the first time, uh, this is it is actually complicated electronics even at a low-end price so as you see the throttle is off I'm gonna raise this throttle halfway nothing happens that means that throttle is not engaged yet it's throttle off basically for safety this thing will cut the crap out of you trust me on that so basically I've got the foam cleared out where now I can take all the extra and push it down into the side gently see how it works in let me move it up a little closer you get the idea my phone may not do the best focus and basically it snaps in so see now it's snapped in closed ready to fly everything's up like it should be you won't have any extra drag the battery will not fall out so what you do at this point Flip your plane over. You can set it like this. It's uh, basically in the mode where uh, there's no stabilization. You see as I move it, you don't hear anything. These don't move. All right. To arm the throttle, this is the important step that you really need to focus on. <clears throat> this goes all the way up and it beeps. As you see right now, it's down. That throttle's 50% power, but it's off, which is a safety feature. I can't emphasize that enough. All right, you basically go all the way up. You'll hear a beep. Go all the way down. You'll hear a beep. It'll be armed. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> that sucker's armed now. And as you see right here, I'm going to put my hand on the plane. The transmitter's out of sight a bit. All right, I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle. There's more throttle. 
Isn't that prop pretty? That's a three-bladed prop. It's painted yellow on the edges, just like the real plane. That is so cool. All right, at this point, you have no stabilization. Set the plane down. Uh-oh. Got to be gentle with it. Now, right here is mid-range, and this is beginner. You flip this switch up one time, you're in mid-range. You still have a little bit of stabilization, I believe. Yeah. Now, see, watch the plane. Listen. Hear them control surfaces? All right. Sorry, I don't know that. That's my Alexa. Never mind. At any rate, you go up to uh, beginner mode, which is you flip it towards you. And that's as far as towards you as you can get. That's beginner mode. In mid-range and beginner, I don't know if you can see that moving, but that's stabilization. And of course, you have prop. It's very powerful. You have to be very careful with these. All right, at this point, when you get ready to disconnect, it's best not to flip it on its back because it's going to try to ride itself and it's going to make the servos go crazy. Go back down to expert mode, which is furthest away from you. That's no uh, gyro stabilization. Okay? Not moving anymore. You turn it upside down. Now, be careful because this is still armed. There's no way to disarm this. No way to disarm this prop. Be sure that's off and away from you. Keep your hands away from this freaking prop, I'm telling you, man. You better get used to it. First time you cut yourself and have to go get stitches, you'll understand. Basically, just work out your, your battery connector. Keep your hand out of that prop range. You'll get used to it. You just ease it up like that and unplug her. Make sure that it's completely away. Interesting feature, when you unplug your battery, you'll start getting a flash up here. And I believe that's a low battery alarm. I'm still working on that. Because I think while you're in flight, when your battery runs down, this will start signaling you before you completely lose battery. I hope it does. I'm not real clear on that. There's not any really way that I can find to test the voltage on these. My voltage testers don't go this small with this little end. So I'm still trying to get reviews from people that are experienced with it to find out about that feature. But when you're unplugged, you'll know it. And you just cut that off to shut it up. That's the video for today. This old man doing stuff down here in Prattville, Alabama with the P47. Coolest little bitty baby plane you'll ever find. You can put it up on your fireplace. It's so cool. And it'll fly like the Dickens, too. Just look at the reviews. Go to RC Sailors on YouTube. Check it out. And I do little videos like this. So I'm out of here. Bye.